Hello there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, and happy holidays to all Bangladeshis. Today is a public holiday, and uh, it's still peaceful and quiet, but I'm quite sure our po power will go out. Every day we're experiencing four hour, hours of power failure in Bangladesh. So sort of like situation in Sri Lanka is uh, heading towards us. Our inflation prices have gone high, and uh, we're living in kind of like difficult li life right now. It's going there actually slowly, economic uh, crisis-wise, and we have a lot of corruption here. So uh, I want to do two videos. I already have finished one. A second episode I'm going to do uh, this list I have done a few years back called uh, today's episode is going to be 15, top 15 mean-based perfumes. So before that, let me show you my scent of the morning. Alexandria Fragrances, Paris Night. This is an older style bottle, my vintage fragrance from House of Alexandria. It's similar to or a clone of Grand Soir by MFK. Very beast mode, just one spray. Uh, it's just projecting like with my heartbeat. Uh, another thing is, uh, let me tell you, I don't have everything, obviously. If you are like noticing the list and like, where's my favorite fragrance, you know, uh, maybe I don't have it. Okay, so I do apologize if you don't see your favorite perfume, like something like Comme des Garçons or something. I don't have anything from them. So there are many mean based perfumes, niche, designer, both sides. Okay, and very quickly, I'll go through each of them. I have a couple of uh, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier's side by side and one honorable mention and i have reviewed them all full review please check them out okay so honorable mention i'm gonna go with is this one jean paul gautier popeye okay uh all fresh the full name is so this is basically a lamal line as you can see from the torso and then they have the tattoo of the uh, very famous character popeye now this one it's very uh, rare to find and very expensive check it out it has very sweet kind of like a dry down bubble gummy dry down but a bit more freshness on the top of that okay so the minty freshness is really good but if you can find for a good price then only buy it popeye oh fresh so similar to that i have a solution for you i was wearing this last night let's start the list number 15 yopom sport very similar to that popeye and longer lasting and uh, much cheaper you can find these your fragrance at 35 dollars maximum 40 and you get 125 mil this is very beautiful bottle one of my unicorn bottles i really like the color of it and this is more fresher minty take on original yopom definitely check it out you can wear this in winter as well next one i actually had a backup bottle but i sold it off i was not using it it's a good one but not the best but it's a very playful chocolatey kind of a mint this is theory mugler crypto mint i got this like long time back and i really dig these bottles very beautiful stars this one has decent okay longevity but not beast mode so you understand the original theory mugle amen you know amen actually had a mint note i didn't know that thanks to mark robes 08 he's the one who mentioned it uh, in his review this one is more prominent with that mint and i think uh, this is the uh, one that has more mint than the original amen that's what i'm showing you check it out crypto mint and i am not gonna repurchase the backup bottle it's okay i have a few other fragrances that i love more next one is the new version of jean paul gauthier i have three right one honorable mention a couple in the main list next one is gonna be uh lamal on board i think this is the name I always forget uh on air or on board on board yes so this is a recent kind of like a flanker after this they have one more release but this is a more modern take on lamal this doesn't smell like lamal it smells more like a sweet fresh opening kind of like a, it goes to the direction of 212 by carina herrera kind of like those perfumes burberry indigo if you like those, you will like this. Very modern, fresh, decent longevity as well. So Lamal on board. Very beautiful bottle as well. This one has a nice mint in the opening. Next one is the other Jean-Paul Gaultier and the last of them. This is actually my love. Why I say this is my love? This is a classic and this fragrance actually, I would say the mint note is one of the reasons I love it more. This is Lamal, original Lamal. This one obviously has vanilla, tonka, lavender on the dry down. It's a kind of like a fougere. And uh, kind of like you can say masculine fragrance, but the opening mint is just something to die for. The sweet mint, very signature worthy. You know, I, I don't think uh, these bottles, the older version, you can find that much. The older version had a lot more amped up mint, but still Lamal is in the list. After that, let me show you Gyalan. This is Gyalan Om. Okay. So many people know this is a sweeter perfume. They'll be like, where is the mint in this? There is mint in there, but it's a lot more sweeter. It's not as fresh or green. So... Uh, you get this mojito vibe from it, which mojito actually consists of the mint. But this is more like a sweet mint. You can definitely give it a try. It's more boozy, really sweet and wearable at work. Very long lasting to Guerlain. one of the hidden gems. Guerlain Om. New style bottle, you can definitely get it. I think the EDT has a little bit more 
part has mint node but i also put it here the edp so now let me give it a count five yeah five so um, uh, number 10 is another discontinued fragrance very expensive now very rare to find this one smells like uh, minty uh, chocolate chip cookie or something like that not chocolate chip, minty cookies mint cookies you know if you like that this is Givenchy very irresistible for him I'm pretty sure not everybody has this in their possession and I actually got this like uh, luckily in Bangladesh uh, as a partial deal this is super rare to find look at the juice color it's green okay and this is screaming of mint check out my review you'll understand very rare gem if you actually have a taste for mint you should definitely hunt it down but it's gonna cost you money okay because it's very hard to find very irresistible for him Givenchy number nine my bottle is finishing perhaps I'll go for another bottle one of my most favorite fragrances from this house this is from the Azaro Purom line this is Azaro and I think it's called wild mint okay look at the juice color again green so definitely I decanted most of it and I used like about 10 20 mil on me that's a lot and this one is very sweet very beautiful easily easily anybody smells this who is not like a very niche sided person like he likes dark and stuff if you are just starting your game or just happy person you just like appreciating smells good sweet unique you love this okay azaro's wild mint amazing this is the best from the line they have hot pepper other ones you know this one is the best from this line okay this is called wild mint number eight it's a minty affair all the way out lemon mint or oud lemon mint by mancera this one is a new batch magnetic cap as good as ever but the compared to the older batches this one has a lot more mint more freshness in the beginning compared to the older version older versions have a lot more sweetness it's like candied sweetness uh, the mint is much more sweeter and it's really loud this one also is loud but if you enjoy the mint you like this out lemon mint by mancera beast mode performer number seven let me go <laughs> next one versace eros okay you guys know the mint in this is just unbeatable so beautiful so sweet very piercing the green apple mint tonka vanilla combo it's a top seller in the market when you talk about it versus one of the best amazing mint note in there i'm going quickly because i want you to watch the video next one is called lolita lempica this is green lava green lava is look at that bottle by the way it's i have to give it props you know like look at that bottle uniqueness of it this is again something like in the realm of uh, wild mint eros but it's mostly similar to ani you know there's the me was the first one i was the first one as a reviewer to mention that when i reviewed this and i think i said it uh, it's similar to nishane's ani uh, but more fresh and minty take on ani really long lasting hidden gem fragrance and it's like candy lemony minty affair uh, definitely check it out this is a beautiful it's a must have fragrance if you're actually looking for a mean based perfume okay this is called lolita lempica green lover number six sorry number five is the other Gyalan i really love but this actually is more mint prominent than the Gyalan om this is the vintage version of Gyalan om low boise the new ones you're gonna get i have a new bottle that is the same style as this you can get uh, these bottles nowadays the new formulation but the older formulations are the ones where this is at you can also find another version which has a plasticky cap compared to this this is true gem you know beast mode mojito in a bottle man i cannot tell you how much i love this this is so good if you actually are a drinker if you like mojito if you like cocktails you'll love this try to get this there's a hidden gem you can blind buy this you'll love it absolutely it's a mature fragrance masculine fragrance yet enjoyable okay Guillanome Lo Boise number five uh, number four one of my big stars Cardia Road Star okay this is actually inspired by a watch you can see the dial like cap if you they're supposed to lay down like this okay and I absolutely love Roadster and Roadster Sport but the Roadster Sport doesn't give me that much mean compared to this. this is very patchouli vanilla I think mint it's a very weird combination but once you understand I mean this is discontinued now hard to find expensive the longevity of this stuff is gonna really like impress you seven eight hours easy on the shirt it will cover your day's work one of the best designer perfume of all time Cartier Roadster definitely check it out number three surprise surprise I didn't think ever I was gonna love it as much now I do this is Guillain uh, low medial this is called cool uh, this is the surprise entry in this list because I actually did not care for this when I smelled it for the first time 
from one of my brothers. And I, th I thought, this perfume is nothing, you know, like I cannot smell anything, it's too weak. But beauty of Guerlain, they capture you slowly, you know. Uh, it, they are a grower on you, they grow on you. Uh, this is very classy, subtle mint, uh, definitely in the designer's uh, side mint, but it's very well done. You know, it's very sophisticated, it got the sweetness of the original ideal, very wearable. Summer and spring, beauty of fragrance, okay? Guerlain, Lom Ideal, cool. Definitely check it out. I absolutely love it. Number two is another shocking <laughs> uh, entry. I was looking at my uh, Fragrantica notes, you know, like which ones are the mean based ones because I was short of one. And this one really shocked me and when I smelled it, I'm like, hmm, I can, I, can, I can see that. This is Burning Barbershop by uh, DS and Durga. So basically, you guys know this is a... a uh, kind of like a smoky barbershop fragrance. It smells like something is on fire. But if you actually put your nose to it, like nose onto it, there is a mint somewhere also burning with that whole barbershop, like a lavender fougier. Uh, this is a masterpiece of a perfumery. I would just say this is something artistic, uh, art at best, you know, artistic uh, composition at best. Everybody must try this. You know, this is my most favorite from the house. The... Radio Bombay, there's one more, and there's one more Amber Kiso. I want to get that. But this one was my first love at first sniff, okay? So definitely check it out. This is not for everybody, but I will put this number two of the quality of this fragrance is through the roofs. Amazing longevity too. Burning Barbershop by DS and Durga. Leads me to number one. And I recently talked about it, how much I adored this, how much this is the best mean fragrance at this current moment in my collection. Yeah. What is best, you know, it's like sentiments. You know, I love Roadstar. I love many of these perfumes. But today, just for the ranking sake, I'm going to put Itat Libra d'Orange. Uh, I do not say the name properly, but this is you or someone like you. This fragrance is a true gem. If uh, you're in the market for one of the best authentic meaning based perfumes that is enjoyable, long lasting, going to get you compliments, this is the kind of fragrance you should look at, okay? You're going to spend a little bit more money, obviously. This is a niche perfume, but the feels from this, it's literally like mint leaves on a Sprite or uh, some drinks. You can smell the mint. It's just cooling, frosting, uh, just a top-notch fragrance, okay? You are someone like you by Itar Libra de Orange. I'll write down the names for you. Thanks for watching. I'll go upload this. Hopefully, you'll watch it this time and you'll try some of these fragrances. What are your favorite mint-based perfumes? Let us know or let me know. I'll try them out. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.